Let's say we're asked to find the equation of the line that passes through the two points 6 comma negative 2 and negative 4 comma 1, and we're asked to find it in slope-intercept form. Before we get started with either slope-intercept or point slope, we need to make sure we have the slope. So we start with using the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and plug in the numbers where they belong. y2, which is 1, minus y1, which is negative 2, over y, I'm sorry, x2, which is negative 4, minus x1, which is 6. So the numbers just replace the variables they represent. Negative times a negative is positive. So for the numerator, we get 1 plus 2. For the denominator, the negative 4 over 6. The negative 4 minus 6 remains. At this stage, we can add the numerator and the denominators. So 1 plus 2 will give us 3. Negative 4 minus 6 will give us negative 10. By convention, we don't write negatives in denominators, although there's nothing wrong with it. We can do that, but typically by convention, we don't. So this negative that's in the denominator can either go with the 3 in the numerator, and that would be acceptable, or it can just go sit outside the fraction applied to the entire number. Now that we have the slope, we can start using the point-slope form to make our life a little bit easier. We can use the point negative 4 comma 1 here. And when we do, we're going to get y minus y1, which is 1, equals m, which turned out to be negative 3 over 10 from right here, times x minus x1, which is negative 4. If we multiply both the negatives, we get a positive. So that yields y minus 1 equals negative 3 over 10 times the quantity x plus 4. At this stage, we have a fraction to deal with. One option would be to distribute the negative 3 over 10 into x and into 4. However, that's going to end up creating two fractions when we just have one. There's a much better approach to solve for y, and it usually starts with clearing the fractions. If I multiplied both sides of this equation by 10, this 10 would cancel on the right-hand side, and you would have no fractions left over. And on the left-hand side, we would just need to distribute the 10 into y minus 1. That sounds pretty simple. So if we do that, if we multiply both sides by 10, this left-hand side will simply get multiplied by 10, and the 10 in the denominator here will cancel. At this stage, we can distribute the 10 into the left-hand side, and that will give us 10y minus 10 equals the right-hand side, where we can distribute the negative 3 negative 3x minus 12. At this stage, we remember that we want to solve for y so that it looks like it's in slope-intercept form. So we can do that by moving this negative 10 over to the right-hand side, which would turn it into an addition. Negative 12 plus 10 is negative 2. So we're left with the equation 10y equals negative 3x minus 2. One last step to get us home, if we divide all the terms of the equation, or both sides, by 10, we will end up getting y equals negative 3x over 10, which is this term, and negative 2 over 10, which simplifies to give us 1 over 5. Now remember, our slope turned out to be negative 3 over 10, which we were able to recover. So whatever the, whether the equation of the line is in point-slope form or slope-intercept form, the slope has to be the same.